got one that can see. There are no limits. Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is recovering at a military hospital in Germany. We learned today that doctors are so worried about his mental health after five years in Taliban custody that they've told his family not to reach out, even just to say welcome back. Of all the questions swirling around this young man, perhaps the most intriguing is the mystery. Who is Bo Bergdahl? This is the Bo Bergdahl the yeah, world please. knows. Release me, please. I'm begging you. Leading to the camera in proof of life videos released by the Taliban. He didn't, he didn't sell the line. But this is the Bo Bergdahl Sherry Horton knows, doing something he loved. He was a wonderful partner. All the girls enjoyed, you know, dancing with him because he was so strong and steady. Sherry was Bergdahl's ballet teacher and later his roommate back home in Idaho. He's a very interesting guy. He very quiet. Um, he was an observer. You couldn't actually put him in a little cubby hole. He was his, kind of his own person. For Sherry Horton, it has been painful to see the dancer she once knew fade away while being held by the Taliban. He's always been a big, strong guy. In the last pictures that were coming out, he was not. Um, and so that's the difference I could see. But at the time, I, I actually stopped watching the videos. And controversy continues to swirl about... The mystery, who is Bo Bergdahl? Why did he leave his base in the first place? I want to go home. Shit, get on your knees, scumbag! Now choke yourself! God damn it, with my hand, I'm nuts! Don't pull my fucking hand over there. I said choke yourself. Now lean forward and choke yourself. Those who served right next to him in Afghanistan say he intentionally left his post. It was premeditated. Um, it was thought out. Cody Full roomed with Bergdahl before their deployment. He was not uh, forcefully taken off the base. I don't think that somebody that deserted their platoon mates in a time of war should be able to desert and get away with it. Why would Bergdahl leave the base? Even tweeting to a Taliban spokesman Yet when we pay close attention to the video, Flight 175's wing should appear in front of the building, not behind it. This is a layering CGI glitch, and this proves that this video, which was seen all over the world, over and over and over again, year after year, is a CGI rendering. Thus, it's not an amateur witness video. It's a fake. And this is one of many, many faked videos. Uh, understand uh, the mentality of the captors. Defense officials say... If you think about all the things the Taliban has done, the executions over the years that they love to film... Swapping Bergdahl in exchange for five high-level Taliban prisoners held at Guantanamo. Thus, it's not an amateur witness video. It's a fake. Leaving many wondering... If you think about all the things the Taliban has done, the executions over the years that they love to film... Have new videos showing those extraordinary moments. Washington's top spin doctor has an idea. We can't afford a war. We're going to have the appearance of a war. But he can't pull it off without Hollywood's top producer. So many clues in the video, including this moment. Hired Marine. Taking us moment by moment through the tape. Late afternoon, deep in a valley. POW Bo Bergdahl waiting with the Taliban for U.S. Special Forces to arrive. Taliban fighters high in the hills, able to shoot below.
you see them land and the white flag on a freshly cut branch a sign for the american him watching being led out to to an open area with people filming him and weapons Bergdahl brought toward the helicopters by his captors. You can see a member of the American team reaching out to shake a member of the Taliban's hand before Bergdahl is turned over, then patting down Bergdahl, presumably looking for a possible explosives. Rewind that back to the start. Bergdahl, presumably looking for a possible explosives. Study the video, seeing hidden signs so key to the operation. Bo Bergdahl, clean shaven, blinking and hollow eyed, as if emerging from the dark for the first time. Rewind that back to the start. Why come to me? We want you to produce. You want me to produce your war? What do you want the kid to say? Release me, please. I'm begging you. All the spectacle. He didn't, he didn't sell the line. All the drama. We need it for the armed position on the screen. It'll be a kit, and we'll punch it in later, right? And all the effects of real war. Okay, put the, the village behind her. Give me some sound of screaming. Without the casualties. America has seldom witnessed a more poignant picture. of You're the man. We forgot a hero. It was like we sent him the Christmas card, and we left out the what do you call? Fruitcake. There you go. Sergeant Schumann, if I may, welcome. How are you? Anybody want a beer? Cause I could party. This is politics at its finest. Three Americans emerge. Bergdahl carrying a bag. His back quickly padded, making sure he has not been turned into a human bomb. Bergdahl carrying a bag. All three of them are in civilian garb, so are they special forces, are they CIA? We see the man in the center doing the pat-down just before boarding, his bag is grabbed and dropped. Another pat-down, then airborne to freedom.